Should David Cameron sack Nadine Doris? Well, I would. She said openly that she is prepared to accept a running on a joint ticket with UKIP, which is, um, well, uh, that, that's wanting to defect parties, isn't it? That, that's surely saying that is completely not towing the party line, I think from a woman who's obviously ill-advised enough to run off to a jungle when she's one of only 650 people in this country to have the honour to sit in the House of Commons. I think that's a very misguided thing for her to do. I think, well, I think she's an idiot. Politics aside, I think she's an idiot. But essentially, she has stated that she wants to form a coalition with another party, which I think is... Well, it's stupid unless it's done under proper election terms. I mean, it would be a bit stupid for a Liberal Democrat MP to come out and want to form a coalition with Labour. That would be completely unbearable at the moment, and yet it's acceptable for her to say that about UKIP. She's, she's a very balmy woman. Personally, if I were David Cameron, which I'm, I'm not, I think that's very clear, uh, I don't even particularly like his party that much, I would sack her for party discipline, because if he doesn't sack her, then he's going to look like he's weak. If he does sack her, he will seem like he's strong. And the most important thing to do is be strong. He's not even as good as John Major. He doesn't even say, back me or sack me. He just says, well, he doesn't say anything and he goes off on a bus in New York with Boris Johnson or whoever it was.